be a big concern. The, the one other receiving usage I wanted to touch upon, the last rookie I have listed down, if you have anyone else that I'm missing, by all means, let me know. But I was really excited when Deion Lewis left Tennessee. I thought maybe finally, you know, Derrick Henry, not that he's just McCaffrey by any means in the receiving game, but he's done well on screens. He averages over 10 yards a catch. Like he's, he's done well when he got the work. So I was like, okay, maybe this is finally the three down Henry horse show. And then they go and draft, uh, I hope I said this right. Darrington Evans. I don't even know if I pronounced his name right. Uh, There we go. Sweet. Uh, But is this a receiving back? I don't know much about this guy at all. I kind of just wanted to like pick your brain. Like what's this guy do? What's he do? Well, is he a threat to Henry's usage at all? What, What do we think? Sure. Um, I so I got to preface this. I I was born in Boone, North Carolina. That's where App State is at. So I grew oh. up going to App State games. So I, I've watched quite a bit of, of Darrington Evans over the last couple of years. And App State has been, I think, now to five straight legit bowl games. So like back when I was watching them, I mean, they were like, you know, they're you know they were Division two, like never getting any buzz, and now they're getting like actual buzz and being ranked inside the top twenty. So it's cool, and it's really cool to see Darrington Evans get the love that he deserves because he's a great player. Um, I never thought Evans would be a featured back in the NFL though. Uh, I always thought he would be a really, when I was watching him and, and as I got through the process and I charted all of his games and stuff, I, I came away with like, this guy could be a really good starter for a few games, but he's more than likely, uh, going to be just like one of the best change of pace backs in the NFL. And I think this is a perfect landing spot for him. Uh, Evans is just a jitterbug man, like in the open mm-hmm. space, um, you know, if, if you've got some time to kill, like just go pull up like YouTube and, and watch a couple of Evans games because it's really fun. Like he looked like the best player on the field pretty much every single game at App State. Um, what I found really interesting about the fit after the draft is that App State runs a ton of outside zone. Like that's the basis of their run offense. And the Titans are the most outside zone uh, team in like one of the most outside zone heavy teams in the NFL. So I think they viewed, I think they viewed Evans not only as like just a good change of pace back to, to Henry, but I think they just viewed him as a great fit for their yeah. offense. I mean, he's like the complete opposite of, uh, of Henry. Henry's like 250 and runs through everybody. Evans uh, is just like kind of a, a jitterbug and kind of like a lightning rod. I think they could be a really good one, two tandem, but I think it's pretty clear that, that Derek Henry, he's going to get yeah. the rock is 18 to 22 times per game. And, and they'll use him a little bit as a screen player. And Evans will just be an upgrade on Deion Lewis, at least for this season. Gotcha. Gotcha. Is, is there any, I mean, we look at Henry and we kind of look at him as this like unstoppable force. He'll never get hurt. But if he did go down, like, is there a handcuff? Like could Evans shoulder everything? Do you think? I think he could. And yeah. honestly, I mean, the Titans don't really have much behind them on their depth chart right now. They could go get a veteran guy. I, I don't know if they will, but I think Evans could – Could I think he he's – it looks like right now we'll see how – what the Eagles do with their backfield, see if they add a back. But I think, you know, the idea of a handcuff is like a 2010 idea. It just doesn't exist anymore. Like handcuffs don't exist. But uh, Darrington Evans is about as close to a good handcuff as you can get. 